Hey everybody, it's Super Zelda Girl and welcome to a new video. Today I'm doing a review of the Final Fantasy Master Creatures. Um, and this is the figure of the villain of Final Fantasy VI, Kafka Palazzo. Kafka is my personal favourite Final Fantasy villain for many reasons and I just think this statue is great. I found it on eBay for about £18, uh, sadly I cannot remember where I got it from, but I've been wanting it for so long, ever since I got into Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah, so let's just talk about the figure itself at the moment. So here you have the wings, the kind of more bat-like wings, um, the bat-like wings, and then the more angel-like wings. This is Kefka's god form for anyone who only knows his clown, his normal look. You've got, then you've got the uh, fire, the kind of, all this. It's really nice. Very looks a lot better in person than it probably will on this video. So, yeah. Let's take, just turn him around. Oh, sorry. So that's the back. And you've got his ponytail and the back of the wings. They look really nice. So, while we're at, let's have a look at the box. Let's put Kafka down just so I don't make him fall off. There we go. So, here you have the... The, uh, the name, the Final Fantasy Master Creatures. I keep calling it Creations, but yeah, let's hope I don't do that. So there you have the picture of Kafka, uh, some other ones in the series. I believe this is Series 5. I think there's more than just this lot, but I'll have to just, yeah, you have to correct me on that if I'm wrong. Uh, anyway, this is um the side of the box yes <laughs> the side of the box and you have a picture of kefka you may not be able to see it but it's there uh very lightly very very hard to see on the camera probably but hopefully you can see it then on the front you just have the the final fantasy master creatures again and you have kefka's name so it tells you who it is and you also have a uh, square products or square enix products on the side you've got another picture of kafka and his name again and the top is just that and there's windows on all sides except for the back so that's very good you get a nice look at it uh, that's good for if you don't want to take him out of the box you just want to have him in there so you can just look at him and have him nice and nice and tidy nice and uh well just have him in the box i guess uh, I, d I like having my figures out of the box, so I think it's nice to have them out so you can look at them. Now, I do want to say, getting them out of the box was a massive challenge. Um, I actually had to get some scissors, and it had the uh, the little plastic ties around the this bit uh, and these bits, holding them in. And that was very annoying trying to get them out. It was very tightly in there, and I actually had to cut the box which I don't really like doing because I like having them just in case I need to put them away. But yeah, so it's not that bad to get them out uh, of the box once it's like all untied, let's just pull it out. But those ties were very hard to get out, um, especially where they were, there was plastic around them and stuff. So if you do get this big, yeah, um, do keep that in mind. It was very annoying. You might have some trouble with it. Uh, and also another little thing is this little fireball is detachable it comes out it's it's connected with a little bit here which goes into the main base uh it's not uh it's not the like securest thing i think it could have been made a bit easier just to get in there and make sure you knew it was secure but it's secure enough it's not going to fall off um unless maybe someone bashes into it it's very well made. I do love this figure a lot. Uh, anyone who knows me knows I'm such a big Kefka fan. So I'm very happy to have this in my, my possession. <laughs> so yeah, that's my first kind of review. I've done a few unboxings, but this is my first review of the Kefka Palazzo figure. And I will see you guys later. Bye! 